What is going on, guys? It's Venom here, and welcome back to Season 4 of The Mystery Owner. Guys, if you know who that mystery owner is, don't forget to leave a comment with who you think it is. We'll be seeing him again here very shortly. <clears throat> season 3 didn't go as planned. Uh, hopefully this season goes even better than the last one. Just a little reminder of what the team looks like going into this season. I think we're pretty well stacked. 96 offense, 91 defense, and 90 goaltending. Uh, cannot complain there at all. And then taking a look at the lines real quick. Plus five on the top line. Nylander, Casper, and Celebrini. Raymond, Stevenson, and Carlson getting a plus five as well. Kuzmenko, Stan Coven, and Zadina getting a plus one. Greenway, Bergeron, and Soderblom getting a plus one on that bottom line. Defensively, we look pretty sound. Eden and Sider getting a plus five. Docker and Evanson getting a plus three. And Forsling and Willinder getting a plus one. Our goalies, Kosa and Samsonov. Kosa's getting better. His poise is not there yet, but we got Samsonov just in case that we need to put him in over Kosa here, especially if we make the playoffs. Now, going to the AHL team, I got a feeling that quite a few of these guys on the top six are going to be making the NHL debut this next season, which would be nice to see. Uh, plus three on that top line for Bryson Wood and Nyes. Hannes, Lombardi, and Niederbach getting a plus one. Valeno, Javante, and Luff getting nothing on that third line. No big deal. Anderson, Pearson, and Rasmussen getting a plus one on that fourth line. Goalies, Benar, and Harbaugh. Then defensively, I think we're look. Pretty decent. I don't think any of these guys are really going to make the NHL, especially Ben Schrott. We're get, keeping them down here for as long as we can. Uh, Johansson, Vero, getting a plus one. Schrott, Tumasito, getting a plus one. Ante. Well, I'll, just, I'll keep it to Ante. I'm not going to try to mispronounce his name all the time. And Serbano and Barton on that third pairing. Not a bad team. Looks really good. Let's hope. Let's hope we can pull something off this season. Now, we're going to sim up to December 1st, see what the team looks like, see who we need to resign, if we can resign anybody, and we'll move on from there. Hopefully, we can uh, get some good news. And like always, I'll show you all trades that come through throughout the entire season. Now, let's get into it. Guys, look what we got here. We got a trade offer from the Toronto Maple Leafs. They want Forsling and Samsonov for John Tavares, a 2027 second and third now let's take a look at this uh see if it's really worth what they're asking for i don't think it is john tavar is an 86 overall he's got some decent stats 17 points in 17 games six penalty minutes uh he's just starting to fall off a little bit i just cannot see us i just don't see us taking on that kind of cap uh forsling still an 85 Samson of 86. 947, 175 as a goalie. Holy crap. No, not going to happen. Uh, I can't justify that kind of a trade, especially with how well they're doing. All right, guys, we have another trade offer here. Another Forsling trade offer for Brandon Gallagher and a 2027 fourth round pick. Let's take a look at this, see if it's worth our wait. And uh, hopefully, I don't think it's going to be. 86 overall, not too bad. 10 points in 15 games. Uh, defensive skills don't look that great. His puck skills are amazing still for someone that's 33. Shooting, not too bad. Dissenses are good. Skating, not bad. Physical is not bad either, but I don't think this is the kind of like move we need to make. I don't want to make moves defensively that make no sense. All right, guys, after simming through... Until December 1st, we're 14-5-3. We are currently sitting top of the Atlantic Division. Two points ahead of the Lightning, but they are one game behind us. So that's not too bad. We are actually have... Wow, Florida Panthers still have five games in hand. Uh, Sabres have two, and Canadians and Lightning have one. So we're doing pretty good for the start of the season. I don't see us making any drastic moves right now. But we'll have to wait and see what happens.
Now, looking at the stats for the start of the season, Nylander 27 points in 22 games. Casper right behind him with 23 and 22. Stan Coven making that third line presence felt 21 points in 22 games. Cider 21 with in 22. Like this does not look bad. Uh, Carlson, I don't know, man. He's still not holding it together like he should. Raymond not doing great. He should be doing better, especially with his shot, his passing. Uh, his defensive stats look okay. His offensive awareness, though, 93. I don't understand how he's not doing better. And he has 18 minutes, 18 and a half minutes of ice time a night. I don't feel like there's anything really to be concerned about. Uh, let's look at our goalies. Kosa, 905, the 324, and Samsonov, 944, with a 191. That is amazing. Kosa's just having a rough start to the season. I'm hoping he can bounce out of this. Uh, hope, let's hope. For how much we're paying him, he better bounce, get back to it. Oh, man. Let's take a peek at the AHL team, shall we? Looking at the AHL team, we're not doing too bad. We are at the top of our division once again. Uh, we actually have games in hand. We're sitting at the top by one point right now over the Wolves. Uh, that's the Chicago Wolves. I feel it. Of the, uh, we are sitting one point atop of the Wolves, who is the affiliate to the Carolina Hurricanes. Because the Ice Hogs are the Chicago's affiliate. Now, let's look at this. Huff, Luff is doing pretty well for us. 16 points in 17 games. Not bad. Hannah's 15 and 17. Rasmussen. That top line's not really going off like it should, but uh, Nyes looks like he's doing pretty good. Uh, hopefully, we can bring him up next year. Take over for Tanner Janot because he's not on in the roster right now. That doesn't too, look too bad. Uh, let's look at our goaltending. I meant to look at the goaltending before we got out of this. Goaltending, uh, Benar is not doing that great. Uh, 897, 267. And then Harbaugh right behind him was only played si seven games. 925, 210. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's hope that he does get some growth this year. Hey guys, looking at the uh, re-signings right now. No one for our centers need to be re-signed. Left wings, the Dean is probably going to want a big contract extension. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't want to go crazy. No one on the right. Defense, looks like we're set there. Goaltending, Samsonov's the only one that's going to need to be re-signed. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, in system-wise, nobody there. Rasmussen does not want to come back. How much does he want? Uh, not too bad, but... We'll see what happens. Reeves, I didn't realize I signed him. Wow, I signed him for too much. What the heck was I thinking on that? Defense, nobody... It looks like I got everybody tied up for a few years still. Goaltending. Uh, I don't think I'm going to re-sign Benar after this season. I think I'm going to let him go to free agency. Makes more sense, if, especially with... We got two players that are about ready to uh, come into the AHL. Harbaugh should be leading the team for the goaltending wise for the AHL and hopefully we can make some improvements. Now let's get into the season. We'll sim up to the the week. All right, guys, we're going to sim up to one week prior to the trade deadline and hopefully we get some good news and hopefully we're looking good for the rest of the outlook of the season. All right, guys, we got ourselves a nice trade here. Uh, Tanner Janote, a 2027 sixth and a 2027 seventh for New York Islanders, 2026 second and a 2027 third. I'm going to accept this because Janote just sitting there, uh, not doing anything. It's money off our, off the books for us. I'll take this trade, especially with that second being there. Guys, we are one week out from the trade deadline. Now it is the time to start re-signing players for the next season. Like we showed you guys earlier, there's not much of re-signing to do. Uh, I don't see us. I, I'm not really worried. I'm honestly not really worried. We look pretty good. However, you guys are going to see here in a second 
that it's a tight race in the Atlantic Division for playoff spot. And I mean a tight race. Now, you got William Melander with 60 points in 58 games. That's not too bad. But let's take a look at these standings in the Atlantic. We are firmly right behind the Boston Bruins. Uh, but look at this tight race. Everybody was with them in a few games of each other, a few points, except for the Montreal Canadiens who are at the bottom of the league. This is absolutely maddening, and it is going to be a race to the finish. Uh, let's look at the Eastern entire Eastern Conference. We are third right now, so we should, this entire Eastern Conference looks like it's going to be a tough one this year. Columbus can get themselves back into it, especially with a good winning streak. We had a huge losing streak at one point, which had me deeply concerned. However, let's hope that we can pull something together. Maybe we need to change some things here. We'll look at the stats for the team and get back into it. All right, guys, taking a look at the stats here. Nylander is firmly a point per game right now. 26 goals, 34 assists, definitely leading this team. We might need to get some extra firepower up there with him. Might be the right move to do. Uh, Celebrini is just right behind him by 12 points, which is not great, but not bad, uh, especially for being so young as he is, 19 years old. Casper, 47 points in 58 games. Raymond doing not great with his minus 11 right now. Uh, Carlson, 85 overall, minus 7. He's still not producing. We may have to make a move for somebody big, and I'm hoping to go for something really big here. Uh, Cider's looking good. Not too bad for him. Uh, I want to look at our rookie defenseman here. He's only got seven or six points in 58 games, but he's actually holding his own with minus 7, 23 minutes of ice time. He should get some good development out of him. Uh, take a look at the goaltending stats. 903-322. Samsonov is still killing it for us when it comes to his goaltending. Yeah, he's only played 16 games, but that is not bad. Uh, but he's got two shutouts. Kosa still doesn't have a shutout this season. That's kind of worrying for me. Maybe, maybe we might have to trade Kosa. I would hate to do that. Uh, let's look at the contracts right before we get into this. Kuzmenko. Okay. None of our centers need a new contract. Looks like everybody's tied up for a few more years. Uh, we got some re-signings to do and some players to bring up. Kuzmenko wants a new contract. He's willing to take 4.7 for one year. Can I get you for 4.5? Please say yes to that. And then we got Zadina who wants 2.9. Can I get you for 2.7? This is good. This is actually looking very good financially for us. Right wingers, we have nothing to worry about. Defensemen, uh, no one needs to be resigning there. Sam Sonov does not want to come back. He wants eight point three million. I do not blame him. He's not getting the play time that he probably wants. But we got to do what we got to do. Keep ourselves in it. Lombardi needs an extension, three years. 975. He should take that. Left wingers, Bryson. Uh, let's give him that 1.5 he wants. We'll bring him up this next year. We'll probably move somebody during the offseason. Hannes. He wants 1.2. Give him that. We might be able to save ourselves some money in the long run. Rasmussen does not want to come back. Uh, reason I'm not resigning. I don't remember making that deal. What was I thinking? Ben Sherratt is on his last season at 5.1. That is good news for us. We got no players ten pending there. Only one I've said we have pending here is Benar. That is good. We should have good cap space for next year. Now let's sim a couple days and see if everybody resigns. signs 
All right, Zadina has resigned with us right now. Easy decision for him. Kuzmenko has resigned as well. Cross Hannes, we got him. Brandon Bryson, Lombardi. We got all the guys we offer contracts to. This is good news for us as we take a 42 loss against uh, St. Louis. And a 2 1 loss to New, uh, New York Highlanders. Oh my, where are we at before we get into this? Like I said, guys, this division is being run very tight. Uh, this is going to be crazy to see what happens. We are currently buyers and heading into the uh, trade deadline. Let's see what we can get. I'm making a ma looking to make a big splash. All right, looking at some of these deals here, guys. I Not some very good money being thrown around. But we'll see if we can try to find a trade, find some upgrades. Veronic, that'd be nice to bring back, but that's a very expensive deal to help bring in. Maybe we can do something here. All right, guys, here's the first trade offer of the deadline. The Arizona Coyotes want to say in a Shane Gossibear, Mishkev, and their 2027 third for our 2026. That makes no sense. I got to decline that. You guys can see it's two 2026 firsts. I don't have two. And they're this from us. For wood. That makes no sense. I'm declining that. And we got a trade offer as we're trying to make our trade. What is going on? They want to send us Heronic Garland. And asking for two, our two first round picks and wood. Wood I'm keeping. No. Definitely not. As much as Heronic would probably help us out. It makes no sense to me. All right, guys, let's see if we can make this happen. I'm hoping it does. We got to get this done. It's one of our... Uh... Oh. All right, guys, I'm sending Celebrini, Nylander... All right, guys, we're trying this one more time. Celebrini, Nylander, Detroit's 2026 first round pick for none other than Nikita Kucherov. All right, we need to add probably another first round pick since we're woolly, woefully inefficient. So let's try to send them a 2028 first and see if this we can get this deal done. All right, uh, let's add one more first round pick to this. They are not taking this, and this is firmly on our side. If I, I just take 500,000 off for a year. Maybe that sweeten the deal for him. Ah, no. Hmm. We'll add Minnesota second on here. This should get the deal done. Just need to sweeten the value a little bit. We are going for it. And trades accepted. We're making big deals. We're making big moves. Let's try to see if we can make one more big move.
seventh here. Do I have any more sevens? I don't think I have any more sevens to give. I do have another seventh to give. Okay, that asset's no longer on block. Got it. Klingberg's still available. Uh, we need to send a defenseman back. Uh, send him a 2028 first. This should be enough. Not to close. All right, let's throw in a sweetener here. Seventh to get it done. Nope, they didn't want to accept the seventh. Uh, seventh. An additional seventh. That I, I don't like my seventh round picks ever. Come on. Take it. We know you want it. There we go. There we go. Making some adjustments to the team. Now, let's try to get something else here. I, I want to try to... Trying to make this team as dangerous as possible. Uh, come on, we gotta move fast. We gotta move fast. We're running out of time here. Retain 50%. I'm trying to get this done. Come on, get me the 50% already. Rejected. Uh. Trades accepted. We made it happen. All right, guys. We made some huge moves. Let's edit the lines of this team. All right, guys, after a crazy trade deadline, this is what we're looking at. Plus five on the top line. Celebrini, Casper, and Nylander getting a plus five. Carlson, Stevenson, and Raymond getting a plus five. Soderblom, Stankoven, and Terry getting a plus three. Kuzmenko, Duchesne, and Greenway. Don't get anything, but that this offensive powerhouse looks nasty. Now look at the defense. Plus five on the top line. Hedin. Cider, once again, plus five. Forsling, Evanson, plus two. Klingberg and Willinder don't get anything, but guess what? That bottom defensive pairing looks nasty. No changes in goaltending-wise. Hopefully, Kosa can pull it out of his ass and get us somewhere. Now, there's no changes made to the AHL team, so I don't feel like there's anything to really look at here, but this team is going to go nuts. Let's get into this final stretch of the season here, and hopefully we can make the playoffs. We will be swimming the rest of the way through the season. Let's get it done. Oh my, are you joking? This is absolutely ridiculous.
This team was phenomenal all season and just could not finish. Oh, what? Klingberg, minus six, nine points in 20 games. We gave up so much to make it. It feels like it's going to be a fire sale at the end of this season. <laughs> no, once this, everything pops off here. Let's look at goaltending stats. Wow, you know what? I feel like we're going to have to do something here. Oh my, I'm very upset. Now let's get into the sim. Let's hope we can uh, do something at least on the AHL side. All right, we got a 2-1 series lead over the Chicago Wolves. Let's hope we can finish them out here really soon. Now it's a 3-1 series lead. Up 3-2. And we do it in six. Now we got the Iowa Wild. Come on, guys. We're down 2-1 in the series. We need to make have a comeback. Oh, we're down 3-1. All right. First period, Iowa Wild has the lead. Shots are 15 to 4. My God. After two, 13 to 28. What is going on with this team? Got a power play and cannot do anything with it, and they score again. Oh, my. We're falling apart. I just, I'm completely, like, bewildered on what's wrong with this team. And there we go. We are out of the playoffs. We want to bring back Duchesne. That's not bad. Four years, 8.7 is not a bad deal. Uh, defensively, Klingberg did not fit our team's needs very well. Samsonov. I want to re-sign him because he did so well for us. Kosa has got to go. I, he is just not doing well for us. This is very disappointing. The New York Rangers have won the Stanley Cup with the Calgary Wranglers, Wranglers winning the Calder Cup champions. Mm, that is hard to process. And Anaheim gets the 15th pick overall from us. Jesus. Let's look at the retired players, guys. Alex Ovechkin finishes out his career with 959 goals. Claude Drew. A lot of players retiring this year. Craig Anderson calls it quits at 90 or <laughs> 45. Looks like he's 95. Kincaid finishes out his career in pit. And the rest of these guys finished out as free agents. Oh, that's heartbreaking. It doesn't look like any of our coaches retired. Looks like we're going to have to hopefully figure something out with this team. All right, guys, we're in the draft right now. We'll, we don't pick till 26. Hopefully we can pick something up, and maybe we'll pick up something good. We'll see you here in a minute. 
All right, guys, I'm making a huge trade. All right, guys, I'm making a huge trade <laughs> to the Tampa Bay Lightning here, trying to get Nikita Kucherov, trying to make, save my job. Hopefully, I can pull this off. All right, we need to add a few things here. We're going to add our 2027 first and 2020, 2030 first. Hopefully this gets it done. And it does not. Interesting. Oh, man. Trying to think what I could do here. All right, guys, the St. Louis Blues has drafted a franchise medium. McKenna. Jesus Christ. All right, guys, I'm trying to make this trade happen. Leo Carlson, who's now a franchise medium, and William Nylander. For Nikita Kucherov, they're 2027 first. Tampa Bay Lightning is 2026 third and fourth. Let's see if I can make this go through. All right, I just need to sweeten the value, value just a touch. Uh, a twenty twenty three or 2031 sixth, and this should go through. You said just a touch. That's just a touch. Now they're being picky. Two 2026, or six round picks. Oh my God, give it to us already. Please. A 2036. The trade has been accepted. We have now have Nikita Kucherov on the team. All right, guys, we have Nikita Kucherov now on the team. Hopefully, we can pull something off with him. Let's look at our contracts and see what we got to do. All right, guys, our team doesn't look too bad. No one really needs a re-signing right now. Our team looks very good. Klingberg, I am not bringing back. All right, guys. Let's get into a uh, re-sign phase here. We do got to re-sign our coaches. We'll take care of that a little bit later. We have one scout to re-sign. 
This will be interesting. Looking at this, guys, we got 20 million in cap space, so we could go out and sign somebody that we need to to help out this team quite a bit. Our right side is just stacked. Looks like Wood's going to make the team this year. I'm excited for him to play. John Klingberg, no thank you. You are gone. Looks like Ben Sherratt might make the team again. Oh, my God. All right, we release Samsonov and Bernard. It's just not going to work out for these guys. Uh, I'm letting this guy go. He... I just don't have a spot for him on the team. Let's see if people resign, and hopefully they do. And we just got to resign our coaches real quick, and we'll be back. One year. Hopefully, we can get them signed. Sure. It's a couple days. See what happens here. And we got Krill Kaprizov. With Celebrini, Casper, and Kucherov getting a plus five on that top line. That top line is going to be nasty. Along with this second line getting another plus five. I'm hoping these guys pop off. That third line is getting a plus three. So Bryson, Soda, Bloom, and Terry. That, it's just going to be a nasty line then. Kuzmenko, Hannes, and Greenway on that fourth line, rounding out our offensive pairing, offensive groups. Defense looks just as nasty. Uh, Sider and Hedin getting a plus five again. Forsling and Evanson getting a plus two. And with Linder and San, uh, Sandra, <laughs> Sandine Palika getting a plus two as well. I can never say his name right the first time. It's like I get tongue tied. Then back again is Kosa and Samsonov. Hopefully these two guys can. Uh, do something for us this season. I'm I'm really hoping. And let's take a look at this AHL team. I think it's going to rock it out of the park. Uh, Nyes, Niederbach, and Poe getting a plus three. Javante, Valeno, and Lombardi getting a plus one. Anderson, Wood, and Luff getting a plus one. Then Pearson, Malakov, and Hunton. I'm just going to hope. Hopefully that's what his name is. Uh, not getting anything on that bottom line. Then defense, Vero, and... Uh, Ante getting a plus one, Schrott and Sobrano getting a plus two, and Barton and Johansson, nothing on that bottom pairing. Goldies are Harbaugh and Angley. Waiting for these guys to pop off as well. So let's hope this season goes well for us. I'm giving you a little sneak peek of what the team looks like for this next season, and hopefully it looks good to you guys. Interesting, right? As we're getting ready to go to the preseason, I was going to show you guys our sneak peek of the team. Uh, go, I just don't see us signing Ghosts very. He did just, just too long of a contract for too long. No. Uh, another trade. People just wanting our picks, and I'm wanting to retain picks. Not going to happen. I can't make that happen right now. Nope, I, I do not get rid of my goalies. Now it's time for that sneak sneak peek I promised you guys. Let's look at these overall stats. 100 offense, 93 defense, 90 goaltending. Guys, going into season five, that's the make it or break it season. I'm hoping this we can pull this off and get us there. But that is it for now. I am Venom. Peace.